Baruchim Aboyim Hashem Yegin Shirtai. I'd like to welcome everyone to today's Shir from Harav Yaakov Zav Smith on Gidrei Priya Eitzah Hadama Lini Bracha Rishayna. Eitzah Hadama, a practical guide. I'd like to begin with Shikach to Mishpat Smermos Kedim, sponsoring today's Shir with the Nishma Saisha, Mariam, Basra Bishaya, La Sholem, Yotzad is today. To Mishmos of Tzur Basra Chaim, to have the great Stos, the sponsoring of Shir, call Yegin Shirtai. 718-851-8651 or email ist at yeshivanet.com or ask me. This week I learned once again that uh, a year is never bored. We had a few shows in Echaz Brachas which kept us busy. And we think, well, maybe technology only is challenging. Simple Echaz Brachas. Lamashal, somebody asked about craisins, a popular food today. You heard things have changed. The brach has changed. Papaya, hearts of palms, things that are pretty common. And indeed, there was a lot of truth to what he said, that maybe in recent years, maybe the bracha has changed. And of course, as we'll see, many other questions, but basically the shayla of today is determining the, the halacha when someone has a suffix, is it an eitz or a doma? How do you, what does halacha classify something as eitz or a doma? But I must mention, the same question also pertains to Hilchas Orla. Is there Orla on craisins or papaya? or heart of palms, if it's an eight, there's all If it's a dhamma, there's not. Is there nisa val tashkas? Are you allowed to cut down a papaya tree? If it doesn't have a dinner of a tree, maybe it's mutter to cut it down. A third nafkamina, very significant, which is not today's shir, but is the, what bracha do you make when you smell a fragrant papaya? If it's a, from a tree, it's a nice rare type of papyrus. If it's not a tree, it would be a different bracha. So as you see, we have quite a challenge for today, but really the, the crux of the issue is what is the halachic definition of a bayer pri or eitz? Is it dafka tree? How about something that grows on a bush? Blueberries grow on a bush. How about something that grows on vines? Cranberries grow on vines, like grapes. So hopefully once we have a definition of what the bayer pri or eitz is, we'll be able to apply it to many more questions. In our minds, maybe in our, since we're children, we have this idea that on fruits you make are eight, and vegetables is hadoma. And that's not true. I mean, we'll see, but the avocado is a, is a vegetable, and the brach is definitely barapri or eight. Melons are considered fruits, but melons is hadoma. So basically, we might be tempted to take the easy way out. What do you have to spend so much time learning? The Allah is based on a Mishnah. If you make a, a, a Dhamma on the eight, but the Evidi Yaitza. In fact, the Shulchan Aruch, the end of Reish Base, recommends when you have a Suffolk, eight a Dhamma, make a Dhamma. So, what's the Shaila? Craisins or, or all these different uh, products. Just make a Dhamma. But that's wrong. The Mishnah Bura points out right away you only can make a Dhamma if you have a real halachic Suffolk. But if you didn't learn the halachas, go learn the halachas. Pais can use a sharp term. That's called a das shaitim. Not that you have a suffix. You're just totally ignorant. Now, chas shalom, we don't have das shaitim here. But we have to learn the halachas to know what is the exact definition of AIDS versus sadoma. And then we'll apply it to many shaitas. So the makar of today's sugya is a short two lines in brach is daf mem. When the Gemara is talking nothing about Hilchas Brachas per se, but the Gemara says one sheet to hold that the eight sadas that Adam sinned with was chita, which is a chiddush. A chita is called the eight, and in fact the Gemara asks, if that's the case, you maybe should have to make a bar pre eight on chita. If you call it eight sadas, that it's considered eight. So then the Gemara says no. Regarding the bracha of eight, and this is the most important line and a half for today. When do you make a bar priya eight? Only the chishaktas le leperi isu legavza v'hada mapik. In other words, typically trees grow, but then comes the winter, and the fruit either are picked or die. Zakti gemara, but a halachic tree, even if the winter comes and there are no fruits, but there's still gavza. But chitim or we'll soon see most vegetables, when the winter comes, there's no, the, the, even the gavza dies, and therefore that's considered a bayer priyadama. So the key word here is the word gavza. Now, what does gavza mean? So the rush on this Gemara in Simen Chav Gimel, 
says basically that gavza is the roots. In other words, we'll have to use an English word because we'll use it a lot today, the word perennial means that you don't have to replant it. Typically, most vegetables, a mushroom, a tomato, you plant it, it grows. We have to replant it the next season. That's not perennial. An apple tree is certainly perennial. You know, you, you go away for the after the summer, you come back, the apple tree is uh, going strong. The Gemara, according to the Rosh, is saying, if it grows year after year, if it's perennial, then it's a bar priya eights. Something that's adama is because you have to replant it every year. And assumingly, the assumption is that chitim you have to replant. Very good. This is also the sheet of the Torah and our Simon Reish Gimel. That basically the chilek is if you have to replant it or not. The problem with this shot is that we have in three places in Shas, the Bach quotes Ayin Zar Daflamid Hey, that the word Gavza does not mean roots. Gavza means the tree stump, stump, the trunk. And therefore, the Goinim, Chubasa Goinim, that the Torah quotes, and that's a sheet of Rashi as well, that says no. If the, the fact is that if the roots remain, it still could be a Bar Priyadama. In order for it to be a Bar Priyad, not only has to be perennial and you have to replant it, but during the winter, the tree stump, the trunk has to survive the winter. And we'll soon see many examples. But basically, as the Tshuva Sagoinam are saying, the fact that you, that you don't have to replant it does not make it a eight. It has to be, you don't have to replant it, it's perennial. And also, part of the tree survives the winter. Now, the rush probably held, as long as it, you don't have to replant it, is a very good hano, and brach is correspond to hano. But the goinim seem to held that if you want to make a bayer priya eights, the tree has to survive the winter. The fact that the roots survive and it, it creates a new tree, but that's not considered a tree if it dies from winter to winter. But at the end of the day, we have this fundamental machloikis, what makes something bayer priates. According to the Rosh, as long as the roots survive and it grows back next year, it's a bayer priates. According to the Goinim, and that's what Rashi seems to say, even if the roots survive, if the tree is dead, and now next year a new tree grows with the old roots, that would still be a bayer priyadoma. Typically an apple, most trees, especially fruit trees, not only do the roots survive, but the tree survives. You go back to your bungalow county, you'll see the same apple tree. That is a bayer priyadoma. The big question is, how do we paskin? And also, what will be a good nafkimina? So the Goinim that I quoted earlier then gives a marshal. It has to be that the root and the trunk survives, says the Goinim, but Hani Muzi, this Muzi, since the tree dies, even though it's perennial and the roots survive, it would be a Boyer Priyadama. What is Muzi? In Shulchan Aruch, in Reish Gimel Gimel says Muzish Boyer Priyadama. So both the Ktsaisa Shulchan and Memtes Chavtes and the rivers of Rai, Mechay Dikzai and Simon Sof write that in Arabic, Muzish is bananas. Adayoyim. So now we see a beautiful nafkemina, as we will soon see in detail. But a banana tree is a tree. It's 20 feet, sometimes even 40 feet. But at the end of the season, the tree dies. Actually, it's a hollow trunk. And now it regrows from the same roots. And according to the Rosh, bananas be a bird priates because it's perennial. It regrows from the same roots. But the Goinim feel the tree has to survive. And the banana tree does not survive the winter. The roots do. And therefore, it's a boy priyadom. But your boy said, look again. The Machaba says on a banana you make adoma and doesn't mention other shita. Evidently, the Machaba paskins like the Goinim. It's not enough to be a perennial fruit. It has to also be that the trunk or the tree survives the winter. Uh, but there's another riot that the Mechavah held like the Goinim, and that's in C. Bays of our Simon. When he speaks about berries, he says on berries, the Mechavah says you make a bar piyadama, but says the Ramah, 
that basically berries is Adama, even though it grows on a pretty high bush, but since the Kalu Eitzah of Legamri, since the, the bush dies during the winter, even though it, it's perennial and regrows on its own, berries are a Bayer Pri Adama. So we have two Sifim and Shulchan Aruch, see Beis and Sif Gimel, the Vachabas, Paskins, like the Goinim, it's not enough to be perennial, it has to be that the, tr the tree itself survives. Now, I am aware that Beragoyla says that the Ramah is misplaced, should be on Sif Gimel, Ayin Shom, but we still have two Rayas from Shulchan Aruch that Lalacha, something is an Adama, unless not only the, the roots survive, but the tree trunk itself survives the winter. What I found beautiful is Rav Ozna and Etshuva Chei Levav Simen Kuf Samachei regarding Orla on papaya, which we'll soon see. But he says a beautiful Yisai that we have to, we'll appreciate as we proceed. And he says, we learn from the Gemara that the Gemara calls like one Shita, Chita to be an Elon, Eichman Elon. So he says the Teretz is, when it comes to Allah, we don't look at what the Batanists say and what, what the Velt says. There are certain halachic features that are deciding factors. It could be a very high tree. A banana tree is 20 feet, but it's Adama. It could be a low bush that survives the winter. It's a bayer priates. So he says, halacha decides eights or Adama. And again, we might see some surprises, but that's the said that we have to hear. So now that we see that the definition of a tree is it survives the winter, not only the roots, but the tree itself, anything else, Adama, let's apply this more specifically. So I'll start with an uh, interesting chedish, which is Pasha Kipshute. Avocado, in our minds, is, is a vegetable. You eat it in a salad. But avocado, l'choladeis, is a pure boire, pure eight. Why? Pasha, it grows on a tree. And that's why avocado is an eight. If you eat it plain, usually as a tuffle to, to bread, so it's, it's it's part of Mabracha. But avocado is a clear cut of eight because it grows on a tree. And certainly there's Arla on avocado because it's a Bayer Priya eight. Agav, the Paiskim say, based on the Gemara and Brachas, on the base, that Arla and Bayer Priya eight, the Bracha, are connected. Because if you make a Bayer Priya eight, that means it's a, a, a tree, and therefore Arla applies to it. Persimmon, a Sharon fruit, is a Bayer Priya eight, it grows on a tree. A star fruit, a quince, all bayre pre-aids. The only question about a quince is if it's not edible raw, so you have to prepare it. Kumquat is a clear-cut bayre pre aids And obviously, in all of these cases, if it's a bayre pre aids Hilchas Arla is fully applicable. A tomato, or many vegetables for that matter, basically, the, the plant does not survive the winter. So even if, you don't have to replant it, even if it's grows again, but if the plant does not survive the winter, these vegetables would be a boyer priyadam. The, the Torah does say a, ve a, a vegetable that's not perennial, that you have to actually replant it as well, then all agree, of course, that it's a regular boyer priyadam. Artichoke, incidentally, grows on a pretty, a, a nice bush. But the fact is that artichoke, the, the bush does not survive the winter, and that will be totally an hour with Shaila, and Allah artichokes is a boyer priyadama. Now, watermelon, all melons, cantaloupe, honeydew, etc., that for them, they are really fruits. But since they don't grow on a tree, it would be pretty dangerous if a watermelon grows on a tree. It could fall down and hurt somebody. <laughs> but it doesn't grow on a tree, and therefore that's a clear cut boyer priyadama for a different reason. It's not a boyer priyadama, simply. Nuts, all nuts actually are boyer priyadama. The Hezbis Pashit. All nuts grow on a tree. The notable exception, peanuts. Peanuts is basically a legume. That's why peanuts on, on Pesach is also alt kidneys. So really, peanuts is not a nut. I once said it. You know, there are two nuts that are not a bird priates. Peanuts and donuts. And it's a very nice lump to say that joke because just like a donut is not a, a nut, peanuts also not a nut. It doesn't grow on a tree. So all nuts are eights except, of course, for peanuts and donuts. What's interesting is there's a little bit of a tumult in the Paiskim if cashew is really Bayer Priya 8, even though it grows on a tree. But actually, the cashew tree, there's a, a, the primary fruit is not the cashew. It's a different fruit that's not eaten as much. But the, the Arlatsian and Manvav Lamedvav says that basically, since the cashew, even though the other fruit is bigger, 
but the cashew is the ikka of that, that tree, and therefore cashew still is a boreal aids. Another po- uh, fruit I want to mention, because it touches upon a lot of how you say this, is the, what's called the sabra, or a cactus uh, prickly pear. Now the metzias, we have to know a little, you know, before we talk any about any shot, we have to know the metzias, I want to be makatoyev to a safe and be darke, ilonais, that provide a lot of information that I desperately needed. But basically, the sabra, as it's called, or the prickly pear, grows on a spiky cactus, which is not a typical tree, there are no leaves. But Lamaisa, it does survive the winter, and therefore the chayra, the bracha on a sabra, a prickly pear, is bayer priya eight, and there would be hilchas orla. Now the truth is, there is a, a, a sheet of toises, an hour gemara, brachas dav mem, that says only on a tree do we say bayer priya eight. On a atod, which is a very well fit for the, the, this cactus, is a bayer priya doma. But most pois can reject that. The chavadas and beis chavalov said, therefore, we pass it not like toisvis, that even in a cactus is considered a tree, and the brach is boyer priya eight, and is orla. Now, the truth is, some cactus grow wildly, and we know the Shukhanarach says in Reish Gimel, Dalet, and Hay, that whatever grows wildly, the brach is not a eight, it's a shackle. But the taz already in Sif Kat and Aleph regarding berries. He says, it's not exercise, whatever grows wildly is a shackle. It's whatever grows wildly and is not as tasty as other fruit, it's not as developed as other fruit. It's not exercise of wildly versus planted. It's a fully developed fruit, but typically wild fruits like crab apples are not edible as apples. But he says, Beferish, if you have a wild fruit that is edible, it's definitely a boyer pre and a sabra is edible, it's a eight, and their ilchis orla apply as well. I saw already as early as the Birke Yosef in Reish Beis Aleph, Ala Sabris, Mevorchen, Borah Priya Eitz, the Ksayis HaShulchan, Kafachayim, Rav Avozna, all say it's a Eitz and the Silchas Orla. What I found really Gishmak, the Rav Nisan Karelti in the Seif Chut Shani in Hilchas Brachas, Amit Kufzad the Gimel, he writes very uh, cryptically, mysteriously, that it's Mekubal Yishalayim that you make Hadoma on the Sabris, because it's made Legeda Ula Siyog. When I first saw it, I was surprised. And get this, it would sound like a psamusa de hair. It's a gather, but he doesn't mean that. And I did a little research, and I'll quote again what I saw, that this cactus, these, these um, sabra, the, actually the cats of the sabra, were used as a feed source for cattle and as a boundary fence. And listen to the goyness of this. The truth is that you could save a lot of money, by put, instead of putting up a fence, you just grow cactus that keeps the animals in, because the cattle don't want to get cut from the thorns of the cactus. So it's very, a very economic way of making a fence, keep them inside. But more than that, the cactus fruit, that, that the, the sabra, has more nutrition than any other cattle feed. Plus, the fact that it's, it has so much water content, if they eat these, if the cattle eat these sabras, they don't have to be watered. So you have three monetary benefits in having cactus grown as fences. No, and in Shalayim, I guess uh, they always uh, had to find ways of being economical. They grew the cactus as a fence and also as cattle feed. So maybe that was the minig then. But today, it's uh, definitely a, a big industry. And Taka, the Heintik Apoiskim say that today it's grown as a fruit and it's back to Bar Pri And of course, Hilchais Arla are fully applicable. Now today I noticed they're selling uh, coconut chips that's flavored. Now coconut definitely grows on a tree. The only point that the place can do say that typically coconut is grown for its oil. So it's really just an ingredient, but not a, the coconut. But today it's fully edible, it's a snack. And indeed the brach is boyer prio eight. A little of an issue, maybe a little more than a little of an issue. You remember, today grad is a little different, but they used to make the macaroons on Pesach that a big part of it were the coconut. So does that mean that on, on a macaroon you make a bar priya eight? But the Paiskim say that really the coconut is only an ingredient. It's not there and it's also ground up to smaller pieces. So it's basically bottle. So no, a macaroon is not a bar priya eight. But if you have plain coconut chips, avada, if it's the fact is that it's eaten today, and it will be a bar priya eight. The next question brings us to a very big yusoid. And that is basically the brach on a banana. Is it an eight or a dama? So again, before we 
go to Allah, you have to know the Matthias. Banana, I quote, is a large plant. It measures 6 to 15 feet. I've seen it can even be up to 20 to 40 feet, in fact. But basically, the trunk is not a typical tree. And I saw pictures, it's amazing. It's really compacted leaves that, that grow wrapped around each other. And if you look inside a banana tree leaf, the, the trunk of it, it looks like an onion. It's layers of leaves, but it's not a real trunk. In fact, the scent is hollow. Now, a tr really, this, the banana is classified as a giant herb, but not even a tree. And the banana is considered a giant berry. In other words, it's not your typical apple or orange. It's not a real fruit. It's not a real tree. But what's most important, it's the banana is classified as a monocarpic. Now, in simple English, it doesn't survive the winter. The fact that it's really not a tree, the huge banana tree, up to 20, maybe even 40 feet, dies during the winter. But it is a, a basically, it does regrow from the same roots. And therefore, bananas is a perfect nafkamina, the machloik is to rush and the goyim. Like the rush, since it's perennial, you don't have to replant it, it's a bayer prior eight. Like the goyim, the fact that the tree dies is a bayer priyadama. And now you understand why the goyim's marshal was muzi, muzai, which is a banana. The question is, <clears throat> So, does that mean that it's a vade adama? We totally reject the rush, <coughs> or maybe it's just that it's a suffix. So, the Maimon Mordechai seems to say in Sif and Gimel <coughs> that the Shulchan Aruch Machriyat Adama al suffix, because don't forget, like the rush is a bar priyat. Zokti Tzayis Hashulchan, more specifically, in the end of Sif Mem Tes, Simon Mem Tes, <coughs> if someone made a mistake and made a bar priyat on a banana. <coughs> He would be Yitzah B'diyavet. Because according to the Rosh, that's the right bracha. You can't repeat the bracha like the Rosh in Fuchatchila. <clears throat> in other words, the Toys HaShulch and my Mordechai are assuming that the bracha on banana is Adama Misafik. No. So according to this, I will tell you a very interesting Allah Chalamai that I saw in two Hain Let's say this person has a potato kugel. And he's not sure if it's a piece of really ground finely and it's a shakal or Adama. He's not sure what bracha to make on the kugel. So people typically reach for a banana, make a dumb on the banana, and we might see the kugel. Not so posh. Because you're going from one side to the other. Like the, the way the Tzachot learns the sugya, it's a suffix a or eights. Or, or maybe more so. It says the Yibiyah the Ches Chavov Hey. Let's say a person has an eights, an apple, and a banana. So he wants to make eights and a dumb. But if he makes an eights on the apple, According to the Rosh, he's yaitz of the banana also because it's an eight. So the only way you can make an eight on an apple and then a banana is you have a mind, you make the eight. I don't want to include the banana. <clears throat> and the svar of the chayr is poshit because it is still a suffix eight. But the point is that what they're saying is that this would be a suffix eight or a dhamma. But what's really surprising that according to this, it comes out that on bananas, we have to treat it as orla for the first three years. <clears throat> if it's a suffix eight, even though it's only a suffix, but the Mechavot Shechon understandably says, in Eretz Yisrael, that all the rice of Bisman Hazer, suffix orla is also a suffix. However, from the stimas of Shechon that says, Mam, is just a few words, on bananas you make Hadoma, he doesn't mention the Rosh Hashita, led Many paiskim to say that a banana is a vaday hadama because Allah is vaday like the goinim and not like the rush. <clears throat> the chayodam and the alef tes and the mishtabura in reish vov sif cotton bays says you make a, a eight on something like banana, which is the machloikis rush and goinim. But even with the eved, you're not yoytze with the boyer priya eight on that sofik. Evidently, the way the Rosh and Sidal use the Lashen, we paskin like the Go'inim, and it's not a Suffolk, Eitz or Adama. So the, the Ksois HaShulchan follows the Rav, and the Rav Taka says, the fair say the Birch HaSenen and Vav Vav, that it's a Suffolk in Halacha, what to do. And bananas Adama means Suffolk. Oh, so then you're right. If you made an Eitz, but the Eitz, but says the Orlitzian in Mem Vav Lam 
that if it would be a suffix, then how could you not take Arla? If it would be a suffix, then the Shulchan Aruch should mention something. And therefore he says that it's a vadai bananas boy priyadoma. And if you made an eight, you have to repeat the bracha. Rabbi Yoshev is quoted as saying that bananas is a, a, a adoma mitaris vadai, and it's not even a suffix. So this is relieving. I mean, the fact is that bananas is a machloikis rishayim. But as we'll soon see, the fact is bananas give off fruit the very first year. And I will soon see the place can say that typically a, 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 a fruit tree never gives fruits the first year. So that is an indication that it's not really a tree. Plus the fact is that it's a hollow trunk. And most fruit trees every year is most of the The fruit gets better and better quality. A banana is just the opposite. It deteriorates from year to year. And that's probably why the Paiskim assumed that a banana is betayr as vadai a bayr priyadama. And as the Paiskim do say beferish, we don't have any questions that we do not keep hilchas arla for bananas. Had it been a suffix, you would have to make, you would have to keep hilchas arla for bananas. So we see two alachis that a banana is a vadai hadama, and we're not chayshish for arla even in Eretz Yisrael. So this would be relieving if taka like this conclusion. If you have a suffix, you have to make a brach on your kugel. You could grab a banana because a banana is a vadai hadama. Okay, maybe you'll say, but then again, I saw other places called to suffix. I'll take a, a vadai hadama. No, tavala chavracha. But it's, we see that it's really halacha is very much related. Hilchis arla impact hilchis brachis. <coughs> the next question is brachas a much easier question, and that is the halacha on pineapple. So again, the pineapple is a, and I quote a perennial plant growing approximately three feet. It's not like the banana that's 20 feet. This is a three feet. But the, the, the uniqueness of a banana, uh, of a pineapple, and I wish I had a picture to show it to you, but it's something unusual. It's a plant, again, about three feet, and the pineapple grows from on top of the plant. I mean, as if it's growing out of a plant. It looks beautiful. It looks like it's a, it looks like it's a pineapple on a stand. But it's a plant that grows, and the pineapple starts to grow bigger and bigger. So basically, the plant does not survive the winter. So even though it's perennial, the roots do, but the plant doesn't. But what's therefore, la loch it's a bar But there's another interesting factor. Because the planters have, it's a machloik is in the planters. <laughs> and let's see it, listen to this. Because if you use the same plant for the second year, it will regrow a little faster because you have the same, the same roots. But the problem is that it, won't, it will only grow to 60% of its typical <coughs> size. So you're losing a lot of the pineapple. If you cut it down and replant it, then it grows a full height, a full, the full size of the pineapple. But it takes six to mo nine months longer. So some planters don't mind having a smaller pineapple. That, talk, interestingly enough, they don't have to replant. But the other pineapples, literally, they mamish replant it. So that's why another svar that pineapples has another svar why it's a real hadam even like the rush. If it's replanted, so it only, has a, only grows once. It's not even perennial. But at the end of the day, pineapple is the minig, it's a hadama, and also we're not chayshish for orla regarding pineapples. Lately someone wrote a shtikl toyer that maybe pineapples the bracha should change, but it wasn't discovered by the poiskin. A, a more challenging question is papaya. Now, papaya looks and really is treated as a fruit, but it has a very unique feature to it. And I quote again, it's a tree that reaches the height of up to 30 feet. I mean, that's a tree, okay? The stem resembles a real trunk. The stem is hollow, very large leaves. The leaves are two and a half feet each leaf. I mean, it's an unusual combination. The papaya grows from the trunk itself, typically a a fruit grows from a branch. There are no branches. It grows from the trunk itself and only the top of the papaya tree. The papaya tree with its 30 feet height lasts for six years. Sometimes three, but it could even last for six years. And the real, only real problem with the papaya fruit is because it's unable to sustain the weight of it. Because after a while it gets too weak and it topples over. And then it falls out with the roots, it has to be uprooted. 
But if you notice, I gave you a lot of information. Because unlike a banana, a papaya is a real tree. Hollow it is, okay. But it's not just leaves that are wrapped around. And indeed, Rav Ozna, Nechelik Vovkov, Samachay, and the Oznidbru both say that papaya has to be treated as orla. Because it's a regular tree. 30 feet, lasts for six years. However, there are those that are makele regarding the papaya for a different reason. And that is, papaya, as we said, lasts for between three or six years. Now, Zopter Vaz in Chayla Gimel, Tovkuf, Lamar Aleph, it's interesting. Because a typical fruit only produces fruit after, after the first year, the second year. But this papaya is, uh, gives fruit right away. Now, to us, you wonder, well, is that a mailah? Forget it, a lot of it gives fruit, but it is a mailah. But the question is, I told you from our boss, and the question is, is it a fruit or not? And a fruit doesn't give right away. So even though it's a bigger mailah, but it doesn't have the characteristics of a fruit tree. Plus, it's a hollow trunk, which is not typical of a fruit tree. Plus, the quality of the papaya as years go on is poiches v'hoilach, not mois v'hoilach. And that's why the Rav Pa'olam, and that's the Ben Eshchai's Tshuva Zeh V'chelik Be'ez Lamed. Someone wrote him, in our city, the minig is you make a bar priate on the papaya because he says that's what we did and no one told us differently. So he writes a little sharply. He says, don't bring a raya from your minig because your minig was chasar and your dia. But he says, look again at what you just said. He says, listen, you told me you make a bar priate because it grows on a tree that lasts three years. So Zok the Ben Tascha, that it grows and it lasts for three years, and it's a tree you make a bar priate, it should be Arla. And if it's Arla, it's also the first three years, so how did you eat it? So how do you eat it and make a bar priate? <laughs> so Zok there, so but why taka? Isn't it a bar priate? He says, because the mice it's mighty Paris the first year, unlike other fruits. Number two, it only grows on the top of the tree, not a regular tree. And he says, basically, it's poiches v'hoilach, it's a hollow trunk. And he says, I'm comfortable to say that it's a regular boy priadoma, and there's no orla. Now he's taking a tremendous, tremendous stance. He says, anybody says differently was a pessy. You can't make a boy priad and eat it. That's a theorem in Ayube. Now, he does add that someone came to me as a postscript, and he told me that he planted papaya on sukkis, and by other it was already edible. Aha, you see, it's not a boy prior aids. And it's a hollow trunk, so the Rav Pa'olim, with great confidence, says it's a boy prior doma, and it's no orla. And Taka, many Heintiger Poiskim, say on papaya, the brach is boy prior doma. Now, Lamaisa, it's amazing, and Rav Ozna's definition is so vital. It's a high tree of 30 feet, and it has the typical feature of a tree that from the outside, it's a tree, not like a banana that's, that leaves, but, if it, but it lacks the basic characteristics of a tree, even though the tree survives the winter. But the fact that it's hollow, and it bears fruit the first year, and it's poiches v'hoilach, makes it so much a boyer priadoma, that not only is it Baruch Yadama, but you're confident to say there's no Din Arla. Now, Lamaisa, I can't say all agree. Rabbi Yashiv is quoted as saying that Misafik, you can't negate the fact that some say it's a tree. So he says an interesting combination. You'll make an Adam on papaya, but you have to be choishis for Arla the Chumrah. The Shevet Alevi in Chei Legvav, Kuf Samachei, also argues emphatically that it's Taka Arla. He says, but mekvoid, kedushas, toiras, hagoyin, rap he says. He says, I could understand that someone treats it like a bar priadoma, but his feeling is it's, an, it's, a, it's definitely a real chi of orla. I should mention the chazenish, not regarding papaya, but the chazenish, the heligu chazenish, in orla, simon yud beis, says a novel chiddish that impacts papaya. And he says, regarding, talking about an abstract fruit, that only gives up pears for three years, so up to Chazinish, such a fruit can't be chayiv in Arla. Because it can't be the ain't svarish ye ilan she peroyis of la'oilam asurim. You have to have the das Torah of the Hedrit Chazinish to make such a statement. But the Torah, the, the, the Torah cannot say that a fruit that grows is always awesome. You have an apple tree, the first three years is Arla. Well, wonderful, the rest of it is mutter. 
So Chazanish makes this statement with his tremendous das Torah that it can't be. So if indeed the papaya only grows three years, we have another reason why you'd understand it's not limited by Hilchas Orla. But the Maisa, we're going to leave Hilchas Orla for Eretz Yisrael and for Paiskim. But I think what, what to me was amazing, Rav Vazna himself quoted in the in the Seif, in the um, Shishari HaBrocha, that he heard from Rav Vazna, that the Maisa and papaya you make a boy with Priyadom. Now, you understand that? It's a vade orla, but al suffic you make a boy priyadama. So this is something that really gives us an insight into the whole sugya. It's not what meets the eye. It's the Turdic definition of a fruit versus a non-fruit. Now, I would think it's poshit that on, if you, a person with the Evid made a eitz on papaya, he would be eitz. Because tam sam takasei, it's a boy priyadama. But one thing I hope is clear, the point is when you come to a shalom zoch or any type of fruit platter, and there's many other fruits, try to stay away from making a bracha directly on the papaya. Because even though the minig is to make an adoma, but some say are eights. If you have anyhow a grape, which you go first anyhow, make an eights on the grape, make adoma on the watermelon, the cantaloupe, what's a vaday? Papaya is a pretty huge suffix. I mean, to, again, we, we pass in the minig is to make adoma, some say eights. But again, it's hard to say that it's a vaday or eights. And Baruch Hashem, there are many other Certain brachis, so stay away, l'chatchil at least from papaya. If someone only eating papaya, what's the bracha? So, Allah you make a boy priyadom. Now the next question that's very much connected, even though it doesn't seem so, is eggplant. Chatzilin in Eretz Yerol today. You're wondering, what's the, what's the shayla? Eggplant is a vegetable. But then again, avocado is also a vegetable. If it grows on a tree, it's an eight. So, what's the metzias of an eggplant? Avocado is a tree, very good. What's not this myth? Eggplant. So eggplant is a perennial plant grown in grown annual, hardy wood stem and that has leaves and it grows from branches. In other words, it seems very similar to a tree. Again, has branches, woody tree. Typically, you don't have to replant it and basically it could even live for three years. So the fact that you hear the words woody stem, branches, would indicate that it's a bar priyayitz. And indeed, the Radvaz in Chayla Gimel, Tafku, Flamar Aleph, mentions a shita that it might be a eitz and the full Hilchas Arl applied to an eggplant. The Birke Yosef in Yeridea, Reish Sadik Dal and Aleph, and Reish Gimel Aleph and Arachayim also seems to bring a shita that it's a eitz and it's Hilchas Arl. <coughs> I have to make an eitz on an eggplant, a vegetable. Avocado Yechiach doesn't bother us. However, as you know, the minig is to make a doma, and I'll soon tell you that the minig is not to be choshish for orla. What's pshat? So first of all, I'll tell you. It's interesting because if you look in the base Yosef that quotes the Goinim, what the Goinim say on Muzai, Muzi, which is a banana, make a doma. The Goinim continues, and I'll read because of oiz up the base Yosef going to Goinim. The mahai time about sinoan v'shumshi. We'll soon see what shumshi. The base Yosef, Goinim, I should say, the Goinim, is comparing bananas to Bart Sunon. Now, what is this Bart Sunon? So, the Ben Ishchayim, Pinchas Chesn, Kapachayim, and Awas Simon, Sivkot, and Yud Gimel, Shekarim Ba'arvi, Bedingon. Now, I'm not, I'm not an Arab, as you could realize, but Bedingon is the word for Chatzilim, eggplant. So you're wondering, what's the shaykhis between bananas and eggplant? Especially a banana is a big high tree. But for us it's beautiful. And the Radvaz and that shuva, Gimel, Tov, Kuflam, and Aleph, highlights this point. That it's very similar in its nature. It's a perennial growth that although it survived, the, the roots survived the winter, but the, the plant doesn't. So just like a banana, as high as it is, is an adama because the, the, the tree does not survive the winter, so to an eggplant is a bayer pri adama. The halach is ketanis, in chelik aleph pei gimel, was asked about taka chatzilin, and some say it's osa al orla at the bayer pri and he says, no, no, no. He says, first of all, the fact that chatzilin grow the first year is an indication it's not a bayer pri because fruit don't give fruit the first year. Also, he says it's a hollow trunk, and therefore he says that you could ignore the meaning of making uh, eights on the eggplant, 
The minig is to make a boire pre adama. So it's amazing. A chatzilim, eggplant, is similar to banana in one respect and also similar to papaya. What, what are the reasons why papaya is a boire pre adama? Because of a hollow trunk. No. Chatzilim also has that hollow trunk feature. So that's why the halachas ketanois is confident that you make a boire pre adama and there's no orla on eggplant. I must add the Rav Pa'olim, much later than the Halachas a few hundred years later, he says, you know, the, the Rav Pa'olim, the, the Halachas Ketanis writes that this concept of giving off the first year is a shvacha reason. So he says, shouldn't say that, because this reason is found in the Tosefta, Abu Chaza Kari Mutzak. It's a very strong reason. In other words, the fact that it gives off fruit the first year is a strong reason to say it's a Bar Priyadom. Even though it's a Maila, but it's not a feature of a, of a fruit. So, Lamaisa, regarding Orla, we also have a Chiddush of the Chazinish. Because again, the Chatzilan don't last more than three years. And it seems to me that the Minik Taka today is that there's no, we don't treat of, of the eggplant with Hilchis Orla. And the, the Minik is to make a Boyer Priyadom. I did see in the same Hilchis Yoim Biyoim from Rav Karp Langazun, he adds just to, I guess, relieve us. He said, Lemaisa, today there's no Shiloh whatsoever, not an Oral, not, not in Brachis, because they, they, the, the planters tell him that they want to get to maximize the growth of the Chatzilim, and they actually replant it. Every new crop is replanted. So basically, the Chatzilim of today comes from a, it's not even perennial, it doesn't even last beyond the first planting. So that's pretty relieving, so there's no Chashash Oral, and it's a Boyer Piyadom B'Torez Vade. Hot peppers, now the, um, now, I'm not familiar with this, but in the Maisa, the Metzias is it grows on a plant that's basically, that, that has a feature of a tree, and it's certain that's similar to bananas and eggplants. Now, it's called in English Tabasco, but the Maisa, it's not, of course, black pepper, but there are those that hold this full Hilchas Orla on this, the hot pepper, because it has the features of a tree. It's a bush, actually, but it would be a Bayer Priya Aids. La Maisa, no one eats the Tabasco, these hot pepper plain. So therefore the brach is definitely not eight, maybe hadoma, maybe even shakok if you can't eat a plain. But the truth is there are still those that are still chayshish that it might be hilchazarla because it grows on a halachic bush. The reason why most poets say that it's not a concern of orla is because lamaisa, we don't, the metzias is that it's a vegetable that really has the halachas of a tree. And by the Maisa, you'll look into the Paiskim, there are those that consider this would be Hilchas Orla, because even though it's a vegetable, it would be something like avocado, and it might be Hilchas Orla. But again, the bracha is definitely not Bayer Priyoites. The next group is a challenging sugya, and that's the halachas of berries. So let's start with the easy one, which probably we don't even have. And that's what's called the mulberry. Now, let me explain what the Metzi is. Mulberry is a high, regular tree that survives the winter. No doubt about it, mulberry is a bayer prior eight. The mulberry fruits look like uh, blackberries, but it comes from a different tree. It's a tree. Now, we'll see this occasionally even in the city when you're walking along the street and you see what looks like blackberries on the floor and you step on them and it makes dirt and attracts flies. And people ask, Shaz, can I cut down this tree? And you say, Chas this is a fruit tree. That's a mulberry tree. Blackberries don't grow in the city. It's a huge, pretty big tree that the tree survives the winter. It has Hilchais Orla, if you plant it, but I don't advise it because you can have problems with you know, the bugs and everything that it attracts. It has Hilchas Orla, it has Hilchas Baltashchis, and it's Bar Priyate if it's edible. But that's typically not Negeyatos because, again, we don't, have, we don't harvest all these things. What's much more negay and a big discussion, the Paiskim is raspberries or blackberries. Now, before we go weiter, I must tell you, raspberries and blackberries are highly infested, so it's basically, we don't get near them today. If someone knows there's no shayla of, you know, shratzim, what's the halacha, the bracha on it? So the metzias is very unique. It has a root system, it is perennial. It's capable of living and producing fruits for several years. Lamaisa, it sounds like a Bar Priya 8, and the Achashulchan in Yeridea, Reish Sadik Dal, Sif Yud Ches, says that these blackberries, this Vadai Orla and Vadai Bar Priya 8. Because again, it's a bush, not a tree, it's a bush, but it really survives the winter. 
However, the minig is Beire Priyadoma on blackberries and raspberries, and we have to try to figure out why. So this, I saw a whole write-up about blackberries, and the Marsham with St. Goisa, Das Toira, writes the exact same description in Chelik Aleph, Simen Kuf Tzadikvav, and basically, it's not your typical tree. Because the first, it grows one year. Now, and that's the, the, the growth one year has no fruit. It's called a, a primocane. The next year, a whole new planting grows. And that's the floricane that gives off the fruits. But he says, Dr. Marsham, really, there's no branch that gives off more than one year. Because after the, when the, the second year, the, the, the floricane gives off fruit, it dies. And you start again with the primocane. So it never has too much of a life to it. So the Marsham says that basically it should be Hadoma, some maker eights, but the Divrim Al-Kiel in Chayli Kuf Mem Gimel is a little more emphatic and he says that this is not considered a tree because every year there's a different, as if it's a different branch, as if it would be a different branch, and therefore the bracha is Bayre Pri Hadom. Now, it's what's strange about it is the Chayi Odom, Mishtebura, and Or Hashokhan, like I told you, Chayi Odom is a Dafanar, the Mishtebura also, they all insist that on blackberries and raspberries is a Boyer Priates, because the actual bush itself lasts from year to year. Why are you looking at the, that particular branch? Lamaisa, we don't change the minig. I saw the Pischei Halacha, the Nechus Brachis, First, in his first safe, he wrote Borei Priya Eitz. Then he changed, and he told me because he can't change, fight the world. The minic seems to be on blackberries and raspberries. The brach is Borei Priya Doma, even though the Mishtebura seems to say it's a Borei Priya Eitz. What's much easier is the blueberries. Blueberries, is, Mishtebura calls it Yagdesh, in Ochmonios in, in, in Hebrew today. The Metzias of a blueberry is, it grows on bushes that reach 10 to 12 feet in the height. The bush itself survives the winter. I'm in a camp, we have uh, more than one blueberry bush in our, on our grounds. You can see it, seeing is believing. So basically it's not a tree, but it has, it ha it's a bush, and it has all the miles of a tree. It's 10 to 12 feet, it survives the winter. And the Mishtabur and Sivkot and Gimel says that on this Yagdesh you can make a bar pre eight. Then he adds a very strange Chiddush. Let's say you find blueberries, which you also can find, that grow on very low bushes, less than gimel tfachim, perhaps less than 11 inches. And I see this in my camp also. Some of them grow wildly. That, but that he says, would be the minig is to make a bar priyadom. Obviously, if it's so close to the ground, it's a bar priyadom. So Mr. Brewer is recognizing a minig that blueberries is a bar priyadom from a bush. But if you find a blueberry growing in a low bush within Gimbal Tvach of 11 inches from the ground, it's a boy of Priyadom. Now, for your information, you could understand this on your own, commercial blueberries, they don't go climbing mountains to find these little, uh, you know, blueberry bushes that are on the ground. They have bushes that are big, and definitely you go and you could make a boy of Priyadom on blueberries. If you find blueberries that grow close to the ground, the Mishtabura says the Minig is to make Hadoma. Rav Moshe Chelik Aleph Pehei says, not all places, that's the Minig. We grew up, Rav Moshe writes, we made a bird pH on all blueberries. So basically, you can be comfortable when you buy blueberries, of course, if they're clean properly, it's a bird pH. Strawberries, I should mention also that obviously blueberries has all of Hilchus Arla. And Chutzler, it's also, there's Hilchus Arla, and that's because it's a bird pH. Strawberries is much easier. Again, the Metzias is, it's a perennial herb on a plant, not a tree. It's the quickest of all plants to produce fruit. And as the years go on, the quality declines and it loses its quality. So basically, it's perennial. You don't have to replant like the rush, it's a bayre pre ho eights. But la it's a bayre pre adama for more than one reason. Besides that, we pass like the goinim. That it has to be also that the, it has to survive the winter, which it doesn't. But the fact is that it gives off the first year payers. It's also Poiches Vahoylech. And Mr. Bura Taka writes, if you've Gimel or Moish and Aleph, Kof Mem Aleph, says this as well that base, basically the strawberries, Pajimkis, 
is a Bayre pre Hadama, and there seems to be no suffix about that. And Mihai Taima also, there is no Hilchas Arla on strawberries. Lamaisa, the king of the Shilas, I think, is really cranberries. Now, let me explain the Metzias. First of all, cranberries has a unique feature it's not a tree and it's not a bush, it grows on a vine. Now, for your information, vine is a bona fide berry pre And the biggest raya is grapes. Grapes grow on vines. The metzias is it grows on creeping vines which grow along the ground. Although the vine produces fruit year after year, but listen to this. There's one unique feature of the cranberries versus grapes, or kiwi as we'll soon see. And that is it grows very close to the ground, within nine inches of the ground. So now we come to a, a roadblock. The fact is grapes is a burpiates and kiwis which grows in the vines burpiates. This, these cranberry vines are very long, but they happen to be, they grow on the ground. So how do you look at a cranberry? So basically there's another factor which you have to understand before we could apply Lamaisa. Mr. Brewer, and I will see if cotton gimbal, he writes Zura Venice, which is apparently the, strawberry, the uh, cranberries. He says, it's so bitter that you can't even eat it as it is. At most, you make a shackle. Now, what is the Zura Venice? So, in the Numish Taburas, they say, chamutzis, chamutziois, which is cranberries. So now I'm really confused, but let me tell you, it's very simple. Rav Moishin, Chelik, Aleph, Peivav, all speaks about the Zura Venice. He says, it's a, it's, a, it's a red berry, which is cranberries. He says, I don't know, they don't have it in America. I don't know the name for it. But he says, it's so, you can't eat it as it is. So now here's the mystery that will be clarified once and for all. The truth is, the actual cranberries cannot be eaten. I mean, they could, but they're very sour. And that's why it wasn't the product. Someone came up with a chach, but let's make craisins. Now, I'm not going to tell you the percentage of sugar in craisins, because you might not uh, find it so uh, you know, appealing. But a big part of craisins are sugar. Because the, the, the outer part of the cranberry, Mr. Bruce, you can't eat. So cranberry juice became a big product, and cranberries, once you have the, cranberry, the, the cranberries, you make into craisins. So the maisa, we have a fully edible craisin, which is a big part of its sugar, but that's the tuffle. It should be a burpee aids. It grows on vines. Rav Shlaim Zalman in the same bracha, in Simon Reish Gimel, the Chuvis, he says, but... Since it grows within Gimbal Tvachim of the ground, nine inches with the Gimbal Tvachim of the ground, it's back to the minute which the Brewer says, and you make it by your Priyadama. So it has everything going for it, but its closeness to the ground. Now, this is very not Pashit. First of all, Rabbi Moshe said, even blueberries close to the ground, there's a minig in certain places. There's no minig regarding cranberries. More so, Tainit Rabbi Frasis Zangazunt. The Talmud of Rabbi Yashiv and Yisa Yosef Chelik Bey Simenun. He was, he is Zayin Gezunt, one of the greatest experts in agricultural shilas shmitas. Jumusam Aisris. He says the Mevnehu. It's the way it grows is like a regular tree with leaves. Just it happens to be long instead of high. And he said he understood from Rabbi Yashiv that Rabbi make a bar priates on cranberries. Besides that, the fact that it's so popular today doesn't have the shail of shakel. It's a full, fully edible. Of a fruit of a vine that's, that's quite long. A different argument, I saw the Hilchas Yoyim B'Yoyim argues that you're going to come to a takala because you can start treating cranberry like a vegetable and you're not going to take of Arla. But all agree there has to be Hilchas Arla to a cranberry. So let me tell you, there's a, a, a lot of arichas I saw, but I will tell you that the Seif Zoy Sabrocha wrote and he's quoted by so many that a cranberry should make Adam like a Shleim Zalman. He put out a new sefer, Liban, ha, Liban Halacha, and he retracted for many reasons he felt that it should be a Beire pre hoates. In other words, it's better than bananas and strawberries. It's more like a grape or a kiwi. Lamaisa in Eretz Yisrael, they treat it as Orla. So Lamaisa, I would only tell you, I'm not going to be machriya and harm gedolim, but certainly if you want to have if you come to a Shabbos uh, dessert and there's other fruits and vegetables, avoid making the brachas directly on the cranberry, even though if you make adomo, you're doing like Shemiz Alman said, but it's a huge suffix that's not solve, solve, you know, easy to solve, to, to solve. Some say it's a boy of pre-8s. 
Sesame seeds typically are added at the chal, you don't need a plane. But we, we see today they're selling sesame candy, which, is, which the assumption is that the honey is the tuffel to the sesame. What brach is sesame? It's Because the Beis Yosef, quoting Goinim, says three examples. Bananas, chatzilin, and then shumshumi, which is sesame. It seems to be the same type of growth. It's a perennial, but the, the plant does not survive the winter. And Taka Rav Moshe and others assume if it's edible, and it's not a tough like on top of a challah, the bracha on sesame or sesame bar is a boire pri adama. Pomegranate is one easy shayla. It's, a regular, it's not a tree, rather, but it's a pretty high bush, and it grows from year to year, and therefore it's a boire pri or eggs. Kiwi is a simple shayla, bar Hashem. It's a, a taka vine, but Lamaisa, the fact is that it's higher than Ein Tzvachim. It's a boire pri or eggs. I remember we once said a number of years ago that the real name for the kiwi is a Chinese gooseberry. So I said, what changed? I said, I, I was a Mishaya. Someone wanted to make a lot of money and you can't sell, no one's going to buy a Chinese gooseberry. It sounds strange. So he gave it a name kiwi. So after the shea, someone approached me and says, you're a good machavin. There was a Yiddish woman, not a firm, but a Yiddish woman in California, became a millionaire. She started marketing Chinese gooseberries, but the Chiddush was, she called it kiwi. You see what it means, Mavas V'chaim B'yad Loshen. A word of a difference makes a world of a difference. And we'll leave you with two fascinating shaylas. Number one is the halach of a harder palm. So harder palm today is a very popular um, food. What is the metzias? So it's again fascinating. It's basically what we call a, it's this, the heart of a palm tree. Tamar as in lulav or uh, tamarim. Basically, the center of a, heart, of a palm tree has a long um, heart of it, so officially it's the heart of it, a soft plant, at least 12 inches in its length, probably an inch in its diameter. And I don't know how someone thought of the idea, but if you cut down the tree, take out the heart, and you cook it, it's a very fancy delicacy. And indeed, it was always called a, 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 a rich man's food. Because you have to be, you know, you have to be wealthy to cut down a palm tree. You have to have a little less, you know, not too much of a heart than a human heart. Cut down a whole tree for your heart of palm. So therefore, you would say it's a bird of eights. It's part of a heart, a palm. Palm is a uh, tomorrow. But the plot thickens because the Gemara in Brach is Lamidvav speaks about a Kaira, that the Brach is shackle. What is Kaira? So Ramos says in Reish Dalar Allah, Palmito. Palmito is the name for heart of palm. So now we see not only is not an eight, it's a shackle. And why shackle? So here comes the resolution of this mystery. The truth is it used to be a rich man's food. But today, Baruch Hashem, most of us do eat hard of palms are not so rich. What's the secret? They discovered how good of a product it is. So someone else said, why should we cut down a big, huge palm tree? They started cultivating and growing specially, special types of palms that they, they, they actually let it grow until it has the heart of palm it. It's not, a high, it's not high at all. I think it was just about five feet. And then they cut it down. And they actually either cut it down or replant it. And from that palm tree, they take out the heart and it became uh, the average man's food. So now the question is, what broke are they making it? So, the Bezai Sabrocha says a very wonderful Yusoyed, and he says basically that in this particular case, the tree does not survive, because you cut down the tree and you plant another one. So even if it's perennial, it's still the Machloik, is the Rosh and the Goinim, and therefore the Baruch is Bayer Priyadom. But there's another factor, and that is, what's Takib Shat? Why not Bayer Priyo Eitz? If it's really a Bayer Priyo Eitz, so, even like the Rosh, this is why it's not a Bayer pre Because you don't eat the pre eights You don't eat the apple of the tree. You eat the tree itself. And just like we know sugar, even though sugar grows on a pretty high bush, or actually on a grass, but the brach is not an eight because you're eating the tree itself. Or, or cinnamon, you're eating the bark itself. When you eat the bark itself or the tree itself, it's not a pre eight it's a Bayer pre So, Pahara Palm is a Bayer pre but last but not least, let me tell you something really fascinating. They started today in the world of Chedushim, they, they, they actually, genetic engineering, they have grown, and I've seen this, pictures of it, grown tomatoes on trees. Regular tomato on a tree. 
What bracha do you make on such a tomato? It's a prior eights. So I all, we all know there's a, 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 a type of species that looks like a tomato, it's called tamarillo, that grows on a tree, which I saw a picture of it. That has no shaykh as the awashayla, because that's a different species and grows on a tree. So that's the bar of There's orla, chevakasi, chelik vav, shin ayin vav. Ours was different, it was genetically engineered to take a tomato and grow it on a tree. So Rabbi Mazalman in Tinyana Kuf, Oy Zayin, says if it grows on a tree, it's a bar of it's finished. So you have a how could you do it? A uh, eight uh, on a banana, a potato, a tomato, bur preates. But it bothered me because the mice that we know on mushrooms, the mish says and brachas that men make a shackle, because it grows from the air, not from the ground. They ask Ravaz and Khaliches, Raish Mem Ches, but today most mushrooms are grown. You can't produce mushrooms from growing it on, 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 on different stumps. They grow mushrooms. Does the bracha change? Mamos much more negaya. Is it true with on mushrooms today? <coughs> And he said, no. Why? Because a mushroom like mushroom. So it bothered me, maishna mushrooms from this tomato. But the chilek is portion. You look at Rav Oslo's tshuva carefully, he says, even this type of mushroom that grows, they plant, where does it grow from? From the air. So it's still a mushroom. But if you have a tomato that grows on a tree, the brach will be very preates. I'm going to talk to you. Am I going to get it from you? Shame you can share talk if you give a big extra to our Smith for today's share. Our Smith will say, Seek him for today's share, but it's from afterwards. The man of the country is going to talk to us. He's 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 going to talk to us.